announcing the date for the commencement of opening of nominations for the party's primaries earlier, the General Secretary of the New Patriotic Party, John Buedu, cautioned constituency executives against denying any member from picking nomination forms. That he said it is not their duty to deny or accept a nominee. We'll bring you that story a little bit later and move on to this other one where former NPP member of parliament for Mampong, Francis Adainimo, is unhappy over what he says are attempts to prevent him from picking nomination forms to contest in the party's parliamentary primary. Now, the aspirant says several attempts to get the forms had failed as he was being denied access and obstructed from purchasing the forms at the Mampong constituency office of the party. The letter was addressed to the party's Ashanti regional chairman, Bernard N. Chibuesako, and copied to the regional secretary. The party opened nominations for its parliamentary and presidential primaries on January 20. A non-refundable nomination fee for aspirants has been pegged at 20,000 cities, while the filing fee is 200,000 cities. The NPP will hold its parliamentary and presidential primaries on April 25. Let's just say a bit further on this. Ebenezer Atakra Sapon is aid to uh, the man you just saw there, Adai Nimo, who is raising some concerns about not having an opportunity to pick the nomination forms. Uh, Mr. Atakra Sapon, if you can hear me, first of all, the party is saying, in fact, the General Secretary issued a directive to various constituency uh, directors to make sure that anybody who wants to pick forms actually gets access. So what difficulty exactly are you facing? Um, good evening, and I thank you for this opportunity. Um, last Friday, we had information that the party has released forms to the various constituencies for any individual who has the wish to contest for the parliamentary elections to pick the form. And so actually, our forms were given to our party chairman so that we could bring it to uh, the chairman of the elections committee, who happens to be the chairman of um, the Council of Elders. And so we were waiting patiently so that we could hear from the chairman and then we move forward to pick uh, a nomination form for a candidate. But unfortunately, when we contacted the party chairman, he said the forms got finished immediately. They were given to him at Kumase. And so we were confused because we believe that, the, one, the chairman did not follow due process in the fact that he did not give the forms to the elections committee uh, chairman of the constituency so that any candidate who had the wish could pick the form from um, the chairman. And so did did the he tell you, I beg your pardon, the, I beg your pardon, uh, did he tell you, Mr. Sapo, did he tell you the how form, the forms got finished? Yes, please. And that there is no opportunity for him to pick any form for any person who had the wish to contest in the upcoming primary. I see. So now that you, you have this situation, the, the national executives are saying that if you face problems at that level, you should elevate it to the national level. Have you made the national executives aware of this? For now, we have uh, petitioned the regional secretariat to the regional chairman, Chairman Noon to me. And so we are waiting patiently to hear from um, the regional secretariat. But our concern is that um, this issue, they could have taken some few days to address it. Okay. They can even use a day to address it. Right. Because issuing a form to a candidate, I don't think it should take such a longer period more than a day to release a form. Once the person has paid the nomination fee, which is 2000 I think uh, the party uh, needs to deliver okay. or give the form to the person so that the person can make adequate preparation, fill the form, and then wait for uh, any other process form that to, the to person be able to, to get through. it done. But we'll, we'll follow it up, really, and see how, as a matter of fact, the uh, national executives will react to this, especially because there has been a directive from the general secretary, John Boyd, talking about the fact that all constituency executives should make sure that anybody who wants to pick the forms has access to it.